You guys sent me your acting for me to critique. Hi, my name is- mm, This one needs a little work, because I'm not getting the flavor. We went from comedy to drama, real quick. Okay. Oh, snap. Ooh, I like that part. Hello there, my name is Michaela Lysak. Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I have a segment on my YouTube channel where I review little monologues at the end of my videos. Today is kind of like a special edition of that. We're doing a whole bunch of different reactions, a whole dedicated video. Thank you to all the people who are featured in this video. Thank you for putting yourself out there for public criticism. And if you want to be featured on this channel with your very own acting monologue, you can head over to my Instagram and there's a little Little highlight bubble titled monologues you can click on that and there's all the info you need in order to submit and be sure to hit subscribe because you don't want to miss out on fun videos like this for those of you that don't know me i'm a professional actress in the los angeles film and television industry if you want to view all of my film and television credits you can head over to the link in the description i am kind of just going to be giving advice based on my career in the industry just what i've seen what I think works, at least what has worked for me. Art is literally subjective and there's no such thing as perfection within an artistic field. So just keep that in mind while you're watching. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. This is all just my opinion. Let's get into the reactions. The first monologue submission that we have is from Kira Shimota. I do not know how to say that last name correctly. She did not give me any social media that she wanted me to shout out. Let's see what Miss Kiera has to offer. Let's see what you got, girl. Hi, I'm Kiera Shimona. I'm 15 years old, and the monologue I'll be reading is called School Band, and I got it off of the Scene Bot app. Mr. King, can I stick to you for a minute? Listen, you know I've been a band since middle school, right? I mean, I can probably play any breast instrument in this room pretty much and play it well. And I'm probably the best trial player this band's ever had. So why are you giving Carmen Humphrey the featured solo in the spring concert? I mean, dude's a mess. His uniform is always wrinkly. He's had a receding hairline since he was 13. And everything he plays sounds like it's underwater because he never drains a spit valve. He doesn't deserve that solo. Do you know he rents his trumpet? Not me. I bought my trumpet. Had a custom made on kind of my small fingers. Cost me $3,000. Do you know how long I had to cut my, my, my nana's hair to earn that kind of dough? Years. And why would I go through all that trouble? Because I'm dedicated. And, and I'm in for the long haul. And dang it, I'm really good. Now look, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but you know what? Actually, that's exactly what, what I mean to do. Toot toot. I'm awesome. You know, I'm going to do that, that feature solo. And if Carmen Humphrey doesn't like it, he can blow it out of his fifth valve. Okay, Miss Kira. For this first one, I want to know what you guys think about it down below. Comment your opinions. We start with the visuals. So what am I seeing straight off the bat? Honestly, it looks good. I like this pink wall. There's really no harsh shadows. I can see your face. There's a lot more light on this side of your face than the other. I don't really have a problem with that but you know what i noticed you guys are very picky about like people's like visual situations like you guys are like i'm distracted by their shadow or there's too much light over here y'all get really picky about that but for me i i don't really mind like as long as i can see her face that's fine if you just get a little ring light have a little light right here it's a little more even so now let's get into the acting and the performance i really did like the scene that you chose i do think that you had a lot of really great facial expressions like right off the bat i'm seeing them eyebrows moving the little wrinkles on a forehead which we like to see but i will say while you were performing your lines there were just some things that i did not understand because you were talking so quickly and you were not pronouncing that well. Speaking clearly and pronunciating clearly while talking really quickly is a skill that you develop over time. So I would say, especially with a scene, like if you have time to work on it, just work on your pronunciation as you're going through your scene. Within like the first few seconds of your monologue, you said this and like, I didn't understand it at all. Listen, you know I've been a band since middle school, right? I mean, I can probably play any breast instrument in this room pretty much and play it well. So you said, I can pretty much play any brass instrument and like it all jumbled. I can pretty much play any brass instrument. So you see how it's like any brass instrument? Dude's a mess. His uniform is always wrinkly. He's had a receding hairline since he was 13. Yeah. He, wait, what? See, I didn't understand what you're saying about him. What'd you say? His uniform is always wrinkly. His uniform is always wrinkly. Writers use actors to get the audience to hear their words. And if the actor cannot 
clearly pronunciate the words, the audience is not gonna get the message. So I would just say practice pronunciation. That's gonna be really, really helpful for you. I'm gonna do that that feature solo, and if Carmen Humphrey doesn't like it, he can blow it out of his fifth valve. I don't know if the performer has a stutter. Controlling your speech is really important and obviously people with speech impediments um, cannot control it, but they can also get better at controlling their voice through classes um, and different things like that. So I would say if you have those issues and if you wanna be a performer, definitely make sure you are taking the time to take care of your voice and all of your speech tendencies because that is really, really important if you wanna be an actor. Overall, I would say that this scene was really interesting. I loved like the topic of it and I feel like there's so much you could do with it, so much fun you could have with it. But I just think that there's some work that needs to be done, but maybe I'm wrong. What did you guys think of Kira's monologue submission? Leave a comment down below. Submission number two. This one is from Miss Aubrey Vidal. She does not have any social media that she would like me to shout out. I can try and check again. Oh no, she doesn't have public social media. Let's get into it. Get into it, y'all. I just wanna... Right, this is literally just water. And if you are enjoying this video, please leave a thumbs up so more people can find this video and my channel can grow. It would literally mean the world to me. Let's get into the monologue. Also, you know what's kind of weird? Okay, I can do like a really weird thing with my thumb. Is this normal? Because I feel like it weirds people out. Hi, my name is Aubrey Vidal. I'm 14 years old and my monologue is from Hunger Games Catching Fire. I just wanted to say that I didn't know Thresh. I only spoke to him once and he could have killed me, but instead he showed me mercy. And that's a debt that I'll never be able to repay. But I did know Rue. She wasn't just my ally, she was my friend. I see her and the flowers that grow in the meadow by my house. I hear her in the Mocking Jay song. And I see her and my sister Prim, who was too young, too gentle. And I couldn't save her. I'm sorry. Why do you have to pick a sad scene? You said. We went from comedy to drama. Real quick, okay, leave down below what you guys thought of monologue number two. Ms. Guru. So, Ms. Aubrey, the visuals, they look great. I mean, you are very well lit. It looks like you probably have an artificial light on you. The background, nothing distracting, just a plain wall. What we like to see. Y'all already got it down. Y'all already know because you guys watched my how to self tape video and you're like, I already have all the tips. I will say, the only visual issue is the eye line. Now, in my opinion, I think you are looking way too far off to the side. Mostly for your eyeline, it should really look like you're mostly facing the camera. Your eyes are just off to the side so that we can really see all of your face and not just the profile because we are losing this whole whole side. Now, if you look in her slate, you see how her whole face is right there. That's perfect. And if she just moved her eyes and instead of looking at the camera, she's moved her eyes a little over and you don't have to stay like straight like this the whole time. You can move around, but just remember casting is going to want to see your face. So starting off right off the bat, she is crying. She is sad. We can tell there's a little bit of water in her eyes. I think with this little section about Rue, I think that there could have been a little more convincing of a visual performance. We talked about this in my How to Cry on Q video. If you haven't seen it, I feel like I'm plugging all my videos. We go over backstory and how to create artificial memories. And so take the time to really create this image of Rue in your head, like see her face and assign a backstory and a mental image to everything you're saying so that when you're saying it, you really truly see it. And we can see that you're thinking about it and you're reliving this, this moment or this memory that you have of her. I think that that's really great, the way you performed it, because Katniss is strong, she's stoic. But also I do wanna see, when you get to that Rue part, again, you're saying, you know, she wasn't an ally and an ally is more of like a, like a comrade, like a formal thing. She wasn't just that, she was a friend. And when you say friend, that that shows that there's a deeper connection. And I wanna see that, that strongness 
turn a little more vulnerable. She wasn't just my ally, she was my friend. Mm -hmm. And that's where we should see you her. You see her and the flowers that grow in the meadow by my house. And hear her in the walking Jay song. Because also she died, <laughs> like she died and that's also like really sad. So I wanna see like you really miss her. Your heart is aching because the whole time it's kind of the same tone. And so I just wanna see you give a little bit. You can still be strong, but I wanna see it in your eyes. And that's also why I kind of needed the eyeline a little more here because I can't see both your eyes very clearly. And for an actor, it's all in the eyes, really breaking down. I knew Rue. She wasn't just an ally, she was a friend. I see her lying in the meadows and the flowers outside my house. I hear her in the mocking Jay song. And when I think of her, I think of my sister. I see my sister who was just too young, too innocent. I actually think when I did it, the streaming tears kind of ruined the performance. Again, Katniss is really strong and I don't think she would full on cry. I think it would have been better if the tears were just kind of quivering on my eyeline. But again, this was my first try, so just kind of happened. Anyway, back to the video. You see how you could kind of see me thinking and reflecting. I was trying to create a mental image. I really like the the way that you started it off, how she's stoic. But again, I think we have to find that shift. We have to find how our character changes. I don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't, I'm just tired. Okay, we're going to the next scene. Number three, and it is our last scene. This one is from Jack Wong, and he is an LA-based actor. So his Instagram is at Jack with two J's, Wang with two G's. So that is his Instagram. Let's get into it. Hello, my name is Jack Wang. I'll be performing One Good Thing written by Don Zelitas and Office Rent written by Dennis Wang. Did you see her in there? Mom's dying in there. With you and Nick in the same months? She needs you, Dad. Don't you understand that? Do you know what she's been like since you've been gone? Do you even care, Dad? She's destroyed! She's going through the pictures, crying herself to sleep, and on top of that, Nick gets blown up in Iraq and you're just gonna let her drown here? And I know how you feel about me, Dad. You got one son who's a hero, and one who's just here. I know the difference. You're running away from this, Dad, and I don't care what you say, because I know just deep down, you're just hoping somebody else will clean up your mess. And you and Dad, I don't give a f you had all this love for Nick. Because all that matters is I know you had so little for me. Oh, snap. Dang, he really showed it to his father. You're just hoping somebody else will oh. clean up your mess. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Jack. Let's get into the visuals. I like this like brick wallpaper. I think that that's really interesting. I haven't seen that before. So that's fun. Perfect lighting. Um, I can see you. I it's It's great. The visuals, they're fine. Now getting into the acting, right off the bat, I noticed that you had great facial expressions. Like right from the beginning, you know how to do a good facial expression. I like the wrinkles, we say no wrinkles. I noticed also that you moved your hands. I love seeing that because I hate when I see actors who are just stiff and they're performing an angry monologue and they're like, nah, 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 nah. they're angry but then they're not moving. That's not really how it is in real life. You were moving your hands, but you weren't like moving your feet, like stepping, like you were like still, but you were like moving your hands. And I think it would feel a little more natural if you were moving your feet instead of like just talking, but you're talking like this. Instead of you're talking, you're moving like this, like that. Well, you know what I mean? Because your body was like, stiff but your hands were moving kind of just don't keep your feet planted the whole time like you can move your feet a little bit i don't know why that was so difficult for me to explain but you know what i mean hopefully you know what i mean and on top of that nick gets blown up in iraq and you're just gonna let her drown here blown up and i know how you feel about me dad 
yeah 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 okay because this is where the shift in the scene happens so you're mad at him and then you start talking about how like i'm like the lesser son right i'm not your favorite right it's such a big shift that i think it should stand out a little more so take a longer pause on that one and wow he's really getting emotional you can see it in the eyes i know the difference you're running away from this dad and i don't care what you say because i know just deep down you're just hoping somebody else will clean up your mess and you and dad i don't give a f you had all this love for nick because all that matters is that I know you had so little for me. Ooh, I like how he said that. For me. Dang. I think that was pretty good. If I had to be super, super nitpicky, that last part, like he kind of started yelling again, like the beginning. I feel like it could kind of be like, a, like a broken anger instead of like a yelling anger because we got a lot of that yelling anger in the beginning. Maybe it's like a broken. Yeah, I think that that was a good monologue, Jack. Bravo. I think you have great facial expressions, great volume. I will say maybe sometimes the hands were a little too much, too many hand movements. But overall, I do think that this was a pretty good monologue. Those are all of the monologues. What? If you guys want a part two of this video, leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave so that you can get notified when I post another video. Super excited to see what all of you guys thought of these submissions in the comments below. I do read your guys' comments. And if you want to be featured on this channel with your very own acting monologue, you can head over to my Instagram and there's a little highlight bubble titled monologues. You can click on that and there's all the info you need in order to submit. So that is going to be it for this video. I'm tired. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.